So now we're going to make the lemon meringue tartlets. You're going to love these. Your guests are going to love them. We're using the pat sucre for the little straight-sided tart shells that are gonna be baked in these round molds. These are little flan rings or tart rings. So this should be rolled into a rectangle approximately 10 inches by 15 inches. What you want are six rounds. So cut your rings. We have that four and a half inch cutter, which really helps to make the right size. Work carefully and quickly because as this warms up, it gets very difficult to work with. Loosen with your little offset and then drop very carefully into your tart ring. And then just gently mold these into the ring. And so with the, your thumbs without long fingernails, if I had great big long fingernails, I would be cutting this right into pieces. So it's better if you're a baker to keep your nails moderately short. I've never had long fingernails. Doing all the gardening that I do and all the dishwashing that I have to do, nails just don't stay. So once you get all the edges trimmed off with the point of a sharp knife like this, just go around. You're going to put a few little fork prints in the bottom. This will prevent any big eruptions in the bottom of the pastry. This is called docking. Now I would chill these just a little bit, then insert a paper round into each tart shell. And that's gonna be filled with the weights that will prevent these from collapsing when pre-baking. Then bake them in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes take the papers and the beans out and bake them until they are golden brown, maybe another 10 or 15 minutes at 325. And we have these already done. Oh, these look so good. You can see almost through them. They're so delicate. That's what a good tart shell is. And now uh, if we beat up our egg whites, we can fill these with a prepared lemon curd and make our lemon meringue tartlets. You need six egg yolks, Add three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. Get that nicely incorporated. Half a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice goes right in. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So put this on the stove on a medium flame and constantly stir and stir until it starts to thicken. And I'm adding the zest of one and a quarter lemons. That's a lot of zest, but boy, does it give a great lemony flavor. And now stir with a wooden spoon. This is a very hot stove, so I have to be very careful not to curdle the eggs. So the curd is ready. And the way that you test for doneness is on the back of your wooden spoon, just draw your finger like that. If it doesn't all run back in, it's done. It will have a nice thickness to it. Now add one stick of butter cut into small pieces. This too enriches the curd, and when it's chilled, will thicken the curd very nicely. And to avoid any lumps whatsoever, we're going to put it through a fine sieve. Look at the color and look at that texture. and put a little piece of plastic wrap on the surface of the curd to prevent a skin from forming. And get this chilled before you fill your tart shells. Great lemon curd. Now we're going to make the meringue topping for our lemon meringue tartlets. Uh, start with four egg whites in the bowl of your mixer, fitted with the whisk attachment. And Add a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. This will um, help the meringue stay dry. And as this starts to beat, add three quarters of a cup plus two tablespoons of granulated sugar. 
So while that's beating, I'm gonna fill my tart shells. Here's the lemon curd, nicely chilled, about a quarter of a cup into each shell. You can spread this out with a small offset spatula. Let's see how our meringue is coming. Just starting to get voluminous. And I like to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla. And add two tablespoons of this beautiful sanding sugar. Ah, soft peaks. And now we're just gonna pipe big stars on tops of these gorgeous tartlets. You can put these in the freezer at this point. Then you can brown them right before serving, or you can brown them now. I think I'll brown them now so you can see what they look like. <laughs> so beautiful. This meringue browns like magic. And so here you have the best lemon meringue tartlets you have ever tasted. Enjoy. <laughs>